All right, what's going on, everybody? So um, welcome to this podcast that we are starting now. So um, this is Jeff, and I'm Derek. You and I have been talking about starting a real podcast, right? right. Yep. And uh, and it, it's I've been like wondering when to bring it up and when to announce it and overthinking right. it and everything. But uh, once I knew that I had the right cameras at least for now, yeah. um, that are good enough. Yeah. I was like, all right, Jeff, yep. let's get this thing going. So yep. what's the name of our new podcast, Jeff? Um, the Rhythm Section. And why? Well, that's what we are. Right. What, that's what we do. But people uh, might not know what the hell yeah. we're talking about. Yeah, I'm a drummer and Derek is a, is a bassist. And we've uh, uh, had the pleasure of uh, jamming with one another in Al for many years and uh, on the local scene and – around the country mm -hmm. and so we thought that would be a great name for a podcast yeah, it's tongue-in-cheek yep we're going to be talking nonsense we're going to be talking about music obviously but what's most exciting is we're going to be peppering in interviews right yep. yeah. and we're going to be talking um to musicians that we know and then through them new musicians and for context, you know, we live in the greater Memphis area. Right. You and I are literally in, Me you know, Mississippi, North Mississippi, but Memphis is 10 minutes from here. Right. right? Um, so we live in DeSoto County, Mississippi, and Memphis is Shelby County. Between those two counties, right. there's so many great musicians yep. that we can talk to. Not, not only on the local level, but the national level as well. And we hope to grow that way. Yeah. So, yeah. This is going to be more of a, a you know, a local-based podcast. So if you live in Iowa and you're watching this... Um, hopefully you still enjoy learning about these musicians. Right. Um, but we want to help the community. This is yeah. sort of like a community thing for, sure. uh, for us to bring musicians in and just get their story and, and yep. talk crap and just whatever. And, uh, and, and you're going to hear about not only current, uh, local level musicians, but stuff from the past as well. Uh, mm -hmm. There are a lot of guys that are still in the game mm -hmm. in the Memphis area that were in the game when I was a teenager getting ready to graduate high school. Yeah. And I want to talk to those guys too. Yeah. Um, so. And we can. Yep. Once we get this thing up and running uh, and we get a few interviews under our belt, uh, it's going to be awesome. You know, when you launch a new podcast, you always want to be totally ready. Like you want to be on iTunes. You want to be on Spotify. You want to have all the social media done and ready to go you right. want to have the art the design the yeah. thumbnails you want to have a branding you know right. we have none of that <laughs> okay but i don't right. care right. you know these things but, will... but we have easy access to it right so. yeah i think i know someone yeah uh, so that those things are coming right. hopefully by now i have we've at least designed a good thumbnail right you know um my my main man mondo who does all my designing and everything Derek joseph's yeah. website and um yep we have secured an Instagram page and a Facebook page called the Rhythm Section Pod. Okay. But they're just templates and right. skeletons right now. Right. And then eventually we'll be on iTunes and, and we'll be all over all over the place. Because right. as much as I want people to watch um, on the channel, I don't want to cut out a large piece of the audience because some people don't engage with YouTube. Right. They want to listen because podcasting is a, what's called a um, companion medium. Right. You get your earbuds in, you walk walking the dog, you're driving to work, you're uh, mowing Not the lawn. Riding on a tour bus. Right. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and you want to be able to do something while listening. Can't right. do that with YouTube. Right. So we will eventually uh, branch out that way too. Right. Um, but uh, uh, there is one other thing that I wanted to talk about. And that is swearing and adult content. Right. And I've been going back and forth about this. Uh, and this is one of those moments, whoever's watching and listening, that Jeff doesn't know what the hell I'm about to say. <laughs> no I clue. have not prepped him on this. No clue. <clears throat> I've been going back and forth because we're musicians and yep. we're going to have musicians on here. Yeah. So there's a certain language. Yeah. And I'm like... I want to be able, I want people to be able to listen around their kids. Sure. Right? Mm -hmm. So I've been toying with that. Like, but like, I want to be able to 
be free yep. as well. Uh, I host other podcasts that definitely don't go there. Sure. Um, so I've decided that we're going to tag the the uh, the cover art with parental advisory. Okay. You'll hear it in my intro. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to swear. <laughs> All right. You know? <laughs> now, that. and try to keep it. Yeah, we're not going to go crazy. We're not going to go crazy. Uh, if someone just starts dropping a bunch of F-bombs, we can edit it out. Right. Or we can add beeps. Uh, I will say, when we get the socials fired up, we're going to be releasing clips. I think I'm going to bleep those. Okay. You know, if someone's going through Facebook and they're thumbing away, and then they click on a video right. and the first word they hear is <laughs> F-bomb. Right. I don't want that. You know, right. so um, I think we're going to beep those, right? Okay. Um, it's not going to be like you're at a Motley Crue concert or anything, but, right. you know. Yeah. Stuff could happen. Yeah. So um, so that's where I kind of stand with that. What do you feel oh, about that? Total agreement. <laughs> <laughs> no, total but seriously. Agreement. I mean, I think that's fine. Yeah. You know? And just so everybody knows, we we, we don't want to edit a lot of stuff. We we are kind of big on what you see is what you get, and and we're just trying to keep everything raw and, and as real as we can. But mm -hmm. there may be times when we have to edit something out. That's right. You know, but we you know. we have already reached out to a couple of people that we we really want to interview for this thing, and and there yeah. will be many many more. Uh, we want to interview as many local Memphis musicians as we can and find out what makes them do what they do and, mm -hmm. and, and why they do it and why they've been necessarily doing it for 20, 30 years or yeah. longer. Um, and ultimately it grows the podcast because yeah. it increases our reach and then more and more people um, engage with it. Yep. Um, so uh, any last thoughts? We got to get this thing started. Nope, let's roll.